Have you ever wondered why your vagina smells different sometimes? Or why it itches when you least expect it? What about those annoying yeast infections that come out of nowhere? You're not alone. While few women talk openly about these issues, millions deal with them daily. Talking about these topics can be uncomfortable, but your health depends on it. Over 75% of women will have at least one yeast infection in their lifetime. Also, between 14 and 49, about 30% of women have bacterial vaginosis. The real problem is that many women are handling these issues all wrong. Are you reaching for that douche, hoping it will help with the smell? Or using scented creams to stop the itching? What if I told you these solutions might be making things worse? Stay tuned, in the next few minutes I'll bust some big myths about vaginal health and reveal the truth about over-the-counter treatments that actually work. Your vagina is smarter than you might think, and less is often more when it comes to keeping it healthy. Let's get straight to work. Your vagina works like a self-cleaning oven. Its own good bacteria, mostly lactobacilli, help keep things balanced. These bacteria make lactic acid, keeping the pH between 3.8 and 4.5. This acidic environment helps prevent bad infections from growing, but sometimes that balance gets thrown off. Maybe it's hormones, stress, antibiotics, or even a new body wash you're using. Whatever the cause, the symptoms can be a bit annoying or quite unpleasant at worst. First, let's talk about smell. A healthy vagina doesn't smell like roses or rainbows. It has its own scent that changes with your cycle. But if you notice a strong, fishy smell, especially after sex, that could mean bacterial vaginosis or BV. BV usually comes with a thin grayish discharge and that fishy smell. One of the most common over-the-counter treatments is Represh, a pH balancing gel. These gels bring your vaginal pH back to its normal range. What about that itching that's driving you crazy? If it comes with a thick white discharge like cottage cheese, you might have a yeast infection. Your best bet here is antifungal creams like Monistat or Clotrimazole. They come in one day, three day, and seven day treatments, and if you get irritated easily, the seven day option is usually gentler and more effective. These antifungals work by breaking down the cell walls of the fungus. Here's a pro tip. Sometimes that itching isn't a yeast infection at all. It might be a reaction to your partner's body wash or even a new laundry detergent irritating you. In these cases, a simple hydrocortisone cream can help. Just remember, this is for external use only. Now let's talk prevention. Probiotics aren't just for gut health. They can be game changers for your vaginal health too. Look for supplements with Lactobacillus reuteri and Lactobacillus rhamnosus. These friendly bacteria help keep the bad guys in check. Taking these probiotics daily has been shown to help reduce the recurrence of BV and yeast infections. And let's debunk a big myth douching. Just don't do it. It washes away all the good bacteria along with the bad, like power washing your vagina. Same goes for bubble baths, scented soaps, and those feminine hygiene sprays. Your vagina shouldn't smell like a flower shop. It's not a bouquet. On the outside, stick to mild unscented soap. Let water do its job inside. And always wipe from front to back. I know some of you might be thinking, but what about those natural remedies I've heard about? Well, yogurt and tea tree oil have their fans, but be careful. While properly diluted tea tree oil can help with yeast infections, some people find it irritating. As for yogurt, while eating probiotic-rich foods is great for your overall health, there's no strong evidence for putting it directly in your vagina. One traditional remedy with some scientific backing is boric acid suppositories. They can be very effective for stubborn yeast infections that don't respond to regular treatments. Studies have shown they help with recurring yeast infections. Remember though, these are for vaginal use only and should never be eaten. Let's talk about some lifestyle changes that can make a big difference. First, your underwear. Cotton is your friend. It's breathable and keeps things dry down there. Avoid synthetic, tight-fitting materials that trap moisture and create a breeding ground for yeast and bacteria. Diet matters, too. While there's no scientific proof that eating yogurt or taking cranberry supplements directly affects vaginal health, a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains supports your overall immune system, which in turn helps maintain vaginal health. 
Try to limit sugary foods and refined carbs to help prevent yeast overgrowth. Hydration is also key. Staying hydrated helps maintain healthy mucous membranes, including your vaginal lining. It can also boost overall health and help flush out toxins. Stress is another big factor in upsetting your vaginal health. Stress weakens your immune system, making you more susceptible to infections. So make time for self-care, whether it's yoga, meditation, or just a relaxing bath, without bubble bath, of course. Find ways to regularly de-stress. Now let's address a common concern, vaginal dryness. Hormonal changes, especially during menopause when estrogen levels drop, can cause this. While over-the-counter lubricants can help, make sure you choose one that's water-based and free from glycerin and parabens, which can irritate sensitive skin. Many women don't realize that your period products can affect your vaginal health too. If you're prone to infections, consider using a menstrual cup or organic cotton tampons. These options reduce your exposure to chemicals and disrupt your vaginal environment environment less. Remember to change pads and tampons regularly, ideally every four to six hours, to prevent bacterial growth. Let's recap the main points. Your vagina has its own cleaning system. Don't mess with it. Try pH balancing gels for odor. Use over-the-counter antifungal treatments for yeast infections. Hydrocortisone cream might help with external itching. Probiotics are your friend both for treatment and prevention. Ditch the douche and other scented products. When in doubt, see a doctor. Persistent symptoms could indicate something more serious. Remember, your vaginal health is a big part of your overall health. Don't be ashamed to talk about it. Ask for help when you need it. Always see a healthcare provider if you have ongoing symptoms or aren't sure what's going on. When you visit, your doctor might do a pelvic exam. During this test, they'll look at your vulva and use a speculum to look inside your vagina. They might also take a sample of your discharge to test. This can help determine if your infection is bacterial vaginosis, a yeast infection, or something else entirely. Now I want to hear from you. What's the craziest home remedy you've heard of for dealing with vaginal issues? Drop it in the comments below. Your questions and experiences help shape future videos and help other women who might be facing similar issues. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe for more straight talking health advice. Remember, taking care of your vaginal health is part of taking care of your overall health. You deserve to feel confident and comfortable. Stay healthy down there until next time.